In front of the municipal hall building stood a 120-foot pole, a flagpole in the middle of a well-kept mini-park. This was constructed in time with the 1998 Philippine Centennial Celebration and it flies the biggest Philippine flag outside Luzon. The Iloilo province honored its local hero, General Martin Tiafilo Delgado, who led the cry of Santa Barbara and the first to raise the Philippine flag outside of Luzon on November 17, 1898. The Santa Barbara Centennial Museum was built in 1998. The museum is a project of the Philippine Centennial Commission. The museum homes Santa Barbara's rich history and culture. Here are some antiques, artifacts, and photos which tells the story of Santa Barbara's proud historical heritage. During the Philippine Revolution, Various flags were used by the Katipunan Secret Society and its various factions, and later, after the Katipunan had been dissolved, the Philippine Army and its civil government. General Martin Delgado and his staff in Iloilo, 1898. A relic of Martin Delgado retrieved during his reinterment on November 12, 2011. Inscription of the Tomb of General Martin Delgado in Culian, Palawan. General Martin Tiafilo Delgado was a Filipino military leader during the Philippine Revolution and the Philippine-American War, and was the first civilian governor of Iloilo province during the American period, first appointed and then winning election in his own right. On October 28, 1898, Delgado marched into Santa Barbara and took control of the municipal building. On that same day, simultaneous uprisings took place in towns across Iloilo. An old photograph of the Santa Barbara Church, completed in 1878, and the Filipino Regiment in Iloilo, 1898. wooden flagpole stand. Pascal candle stand. These are some of the things that General Martin Tiafilo Delgado uses during his time.
replica of the flag raised during the cry of Santa Barbara, November 17, 1898. Here are some of our pictures. Thanks for watching.